Growing up, I suffered from anxiety and depression. I didn't know what to do besides listening to Kurt Cobain all day. So the only thing that brought me back down to earth was being out in nature. So in today's video, if you're anything like me and you love nature, I'm going to show you five of the best places you can live in Phoenix Metro to have our beautiful landscape right outside your door. So let's, uh, let's go. I am Andrea Sheppy, Phoenix native and full-time realtor with Home Smart Elite Valley Solutions team out here in Phoenix, Arizona and all of the surrounding cities. And don't forget, if you are thinking of moving to Phoenix or selling or buying a home in Phoenix Metro, definitely reach out, call me, email me, um, find me on social media. I am around and I love talking to you guys and helping you through your real estate transactions. Okay, you guys, the first place I want to talk about if you want to live by nature is going to be right here and it is called the hole in the rock. So it's technically in Phoenix, though it does border uh, North Tempe and South Scottsdale right here. And so you do get a lot of ASU that goes up there. It's right by the Desert Botanical Gardens, as well as the Phoenix Zoo. So definitely a lot of nature in this area. Here's kind of an overall photo of Papago Park, which is where it's at. Here are some photos of it. There's the hole in the rock. That's why it's called Hole in the Rock. So anyhow, this is just a really uh, beautiful area, really popular. If you want nature out your front door, definitely consider living over here in the North Tempe or South Scottsdale area and um, look at those beautiful views, go up there, center yourself and really, really feel great about your uh, decision to live by it. So you guys, the homes over here in the Tempe Scottsdale area are going to be a bit more expensive because you do have ASU and then you have Scottsdale, Arcadia, Paradise Valley. So this is a pricier area if you want to live over here. You can get a little bit of a fixer upper for like, you know, a converted uh, condo or a townhome for probably about 350000 right now. And you're going to have to put some work into it. But if you're looking to live in a trendy area where you do have immediate access to nature and hiking, then this Scottsdale Tempe area might be for you because you also have a ton of entertainment options over here. And you can always rent in Scottsdale and Tempe in the future because ASU is one of the biggest universities in the nation. Okay, you guys, the next area I want to talk about is, uh, well, it's actually Camelback Mountain. And of course, you've probably heard of Camelback Mountain. It is in Paradise Valley, which is one of the wealthiest areas to live in the nation. Definitely the wealthiest area in Phoenix Metro. The views and just the feeling of nature there is so incredibly gorgeous. So we're just, oh my goodness, we were over here for Hole in the Rock. Okay, so now we've moved over here. So, and here are some of the views from it, you guys. So how beautiful is this? If you're really looking to live in a mountainous area, Paradise Valley is is just gorgeous. You're centrally located. Yes, the homes are well into the millions, but it is well worth it for the location that you're in as well as the views. And I should say that, no matter where you live in Phoenix Metro, you're going to find gorgeous outdoor Sonoran desert landscape places. We're surrounded by mountains. That's why we're called the Valley. And we just have so many beautiful places where you can really go and center yourself and just feel like your home is blending in with nature. The third place, you guys, is South Mountain. Now, in my Phoenix video, I talk a lot about South Mountain and what a wonderful and very large um, park it is. You can ride horses at South Mountain. You can hike. You can mountain bike, do all kinds of things. So South Mountain, you guys, is down here. It is It borders South Phoenix as well as Ahwatukee and a little bit of Tempe over here. South Phoenix, you guys, is considered one of the most affordable places in all of Phoenix. So if you're looking to live by a really great preserve where a five-minute drive, 10-minute drive, and you can be hiking, then living maybe in South Phoenix might be for you. The other side is Ahwatukee. Ahwatukee is a really wonderful close-knit community. Ahwatukee is a bit more more expensive. Look at these beautiful views, you guys. So can you just imagine you've had a long day at work, you come home, you live by South Mountain, and you're like, wow, I'm just going to go do a quick hike. Look at this view. You're going to recenter yourself. You're going to be so grateful that you're living in Phoenix because we have some of the most beautiful sunsets um, in the nation. I, I really think so. 
Florida Keys might have us beat. But other than that, I, I think we're definitely up there. So oh. the next place you guys I want to talk about that I think is a really gorgeous place to live if you're looking to live in nature out here in Phoenix Metro is to live by Lost Dutchman State Park. This is going to be out in East Mesa. This is by far one of my favorite places. It's so beautiful. And it's, I mean, it's technically actually kind of like Apache Junction area. If you like to do a lot of off-roading or you have your side-by-side or you dirt bike, things like that, this area is probably going to be a bit better than I'd say like North Scottsdale or those centrally located places I was talking about because you can't do off-road vehicles over here at Camelback, Papago Park or the zoo or anything like that. But over here in East Mesa, um, you can. And so I know because my husband rides motocross and so him and his friends are always out all over the East Valley, you know, riding their dirt bikes and stuff like that. And their side-by-sides and all of that fun stuff. So Anyhow, if you are really into off-roading, this area is probably going to be better for you as well. But you can see right here, there's Lost Dutchman State Park. Look at this photo. Can you beat that photo? I don't think you can. This is why people move here, you guys. Just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Can you imagine? You've had a bad day and you look out your window and boom, that's what you see. Like, hello. Yeah, that's why people move here, you guys. It's just beautiful. So if I can help you find an area that you think is the best fit for you, but don't forget, you got to reach out. I can't help you if you don't reach out. So comes out here, you guys. Um, Apache Junction, let's go back to the map over here. Apache Junction is definitely an area um, that I would say is up and coming. You're going to have million dollar homes next to, you know, apartments, that, a one bedroom apartment that rents at maybe a thousand dollars a month. So um, you're also going to find a lot of homes on acreage land out here. And it is just really beautiful views. And with the extension of all the freeways they're doing out here, it's it's actually not as far from the center of town as one would think. Um, you can just kind of jump on the 60 and then onto the 202 and really get all around the East Valley. You know, you're probably a good with traffic. You're probably about 40 minutes, 45 minutes from the airport. So it's not too bad, but out here is um, these mountains, you guys, and these views are, are just absolutely beautiful. And so um, if you are looking to live in nature, being in East Mesa or Apache Junction area is definitely an area you would want to consider. So let's go to the last place on my list where I think if you want to live in nature in Phoenix Metro, this is definitely a great area to live. You can see over here, you've got McDowell Mountain Ranch, and then we get all the way into North Scottsdale and Troon and Estancia and Desert Highlands and all of these really, really gorgeous um, golf communities. And um, these homes up here are definitely in the millions. You can find condos and townhomes that are uh, about four or 500,000 and up. So you can find some affordability over in the North Scottsdale area, but it is so beautiful up here. You guys, um, you really just can't beat our views no matter where you are in town. But if you are looking for North Scottsdale and you want the views, I would suggest definitely coming out here around Troon. Oh my gosh. And if you hike during monsoon, which I'm putting a disclaimer out, I'm not recommending. I do it all the time because it's so beautiful to watch it rain when you're up there, especially if it's just kind of sprinkling and, and it's a little bit dreary like this. And then the weather drops and, oh, it's just, it's so beautiful. Um, our monsoons are so gorgeous, you guys. But anyhow, so this is a view during obviously when it was about to rain from someone up there. So you guys, this is views of the valley. This is what we look like, right? This is living in Phoenix at its finest. I mean, it is just amazing. And look at all the little friends you're going to make. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed my quick video on some of the best places to live in Phoenix Metro. If you want to be surrounded by nature or just be a quick drive away from getting that refreshing feeling and being on a quick hike and just kind of being under the stars and hanging out with all of your snake and lizard friends like like I do. So if you're thinking of moving to Phoenix and you're not sure what area you like, definitely let me know and reach out to me. People reach out all the time and I can definitely help guide you. If you already live here and you're wanting to buy or sell a home, reach out to me as well. I love talking to all of you guys and just helping you navigate the process. And I'm on the number one team at HomeSmart in the country, the Valley Solutions team. We have so many great tools that we can help you with. And I will be your main contact, but um, I have a really great team behind me. So thank you so much for watching. 
Really appreciate it. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this useful. I do put new videos weekly. And so I will see you guys on my next video. Thank you.